I'm Olga Hayden, Chiswick, and I've been there since I was 12 and I'm now 90, so it's quite a while. And I'm Wendy Spencer, her daughter, and I was born in Chiswick in 1960 and lived there until I got married when I was 24. Oh, I do know Chiswick very well. When I first went to live there, it was rather primitive. Not very many houses, plenty of rabbits, snakes and goannas. Everybody knew everybody in those days, whereas today people just don't mix like they used to. And it's very different as far as that goes. We had a progress association and we used to meet once a fortnight, go to one another's houses for the meetings and it was lovely. The children had a, a great time growing up there. It was very uh, informal. <laughs> Anybody that had a swimming pool, they were invaded quite often. <laughs> but even before that, we used to, you, you knew all of this, everybody that lived there, so we would sort of get up school holidays, especially even when we were little, and say, bye mum, and we'd be at somebody's house, and I don't think you ever really worried about us, did you? Never ever worried about us. We'd all come home when we'd we all, got hungry. And then they'd, <laughs> they'd all land for a sausage sizzle, and they'd be there for lunch, and then off they'd go again. <laughs> And, and it was quite safe. It we was were out. Very safe. We used to play out on the street, play tennis. All had billy carts, so billy carts up and down Chiswick Street all the time. The box factory was at the back of Mum's house, and um, we used to often jump over the fence and go and play around in there as well. And of course, you could walk down to the end of the street and go fishing. So there was just so much we could do, and it was quite safe to just roam. There was never any trouble, there were never any strange people around and we were always with a group of kids and having a, having a great time. Yes, it was like country because there were rabbits running everywhere and <laughs> plenty of gum tips growing around, you know. It was all paddocks, of course. There were some old houses along the waterfront I can remember I didn't want to live on the waterfront because one of the houses, when we were looking for land, their roof blew off. And I said, no, it's too windy around here. I don't live on the waterfront. <laughs> and of course, it's worth a fortune now. But still, I'm happy where I am.